Hello, it's Green Kenobi back here with, uh, what if Deku was a cyber, cyborg octoling? Uh, I do not own this photo. Th this does not belong to me. Credits to the creator of this photo. Make sure to like and subscribe. Now let's get straight into it. We start at the when Deku is four years old. He's at the Quark Doctor. Uh, is there an Inko Midoriya? Yes, over here. Inko and Deku walk into the doctor's office. What do you want to be, little one, when you grow up? I want to be a hero like All Might. Well, let's see what cork you have. He takes a blood sample from Deku and leaves to a machine to go to a machine for five minutes. After the results, he goes to Inko. Ma'am, could I talk to you? Yes. They walk into a separate room. Your son has a mutation type cork. You gotta be kidding me. That mistake has a mutation type quark? I'm afraid so. It's called octoling. His hair will turn into tentacles. And I think he, uh, he will not be affected by electricity. Thank you. He walks out. Come on, we're leaving. She walks out with Deku to the car. They both get in, and they drive to an abandoned area. Inko throws Deku out of the car. Never come back, you mistake. Then she drives off. Why? Why is this happening to me? Deku is thinking and said out loud. It's because you have a mutation type quark. People like, people like us are treated worse than trash. Unless you have a nice mutation type cork, you'll be treated like trash by the regular civilians. Don't try going to the heroes. That just makes it worse. I say you're a lucky one. If you got dropped anywhere else, you might not be get off this easy. Who are you? I am Alpha. Now follow me. He follows a hood man named Alpha. He looks around and he sees that they're in an area with factories. What is this place, mister? This is the old abandoned factories that were used during a war, I think. They're abandoned. No one comes here. It makes a f perfect place for people to hide. Or to dispose of. They arrive at a... A factory... Come on, this is my home. Deku walks in and sees a, a table, a kitchen, and a couch, and some machines around. The place is in ruins, with some holes in the ceiling, but for the most part, still intact. Why are you doing this, mister? Because people like you and me, we need to stick together to survive. After all, us mutation type quarks need to stick together. People these days will probably even kill some people that are young like you on the streets. So it's better to stick together. They stay away from people, mutation-type quirk people, if they're in groups. 
but if they're alone, they usually beat us up. Luckily, they are scared of me because of my appearance. The man takes off his... Alpha takes off his hood, revealing he's a werewolf. He's a werewolf mutation type quirk. So how do you get up here? I don't know. We went to the cork doctor, and my mom got told my cork, and then she just dropped me off here. Just threw me here. It sounds like you got a mutation type cork. That's the only reason people come here. To dispose of people like you and me. I say, as long as she doesn't bring a hero here, you should be good. Anyway, get some rest. He throws a blanket at Deku. We skip to the next day. Deku wakes up, and he now looks like this in the photo. Yeah, it seems you did have a mutation type quirk after all. I'd never got your name, kid. The name's Izuku. Izuku Midoriya. I suggest you lose the last name. Why, mister? Or why, Alpha? Because if that person hears that you have the same last name, it's most likely she's already disowned you already. But you could get in serious trouble if they hear you go by that name. So that's why most mutation type quirks, if their parents are not mutation type people, leave their old name be old last name behind. It's better just to get a new one. These machines look old. They are. What were they used for? Some were used to make clothes. Some of them were made to produce weapons. There's even some communication devices in one of these few factories. But pretty much everything here hasn't been operational for years. Deku started to take an interest into the machines, thinking that maybe he could make something out of them. But he pushed it off after Alpha said, You need to... You're going to need to go to school or something. You still need to learn after all. But I guess I'll have to teach you. Because it's too risky to send you to a normal school. Really? You're willing to teach me, Alpha? I can only teach you the basics of what I know. But that's going to have to do. We skip a few hours after they're done. Hey, kid. Yes? I'm going to be out for a little bit. You behave. Or do whatever. Just don't leave the building. Alpha walks out and leaves. Deku goes to the machines and takes starts taking one of the older ones apart and starts working on something. We now go to Alpha's point of view, where he went to go visit a friend. Hey, Jim. The person turns around. Yeah. The, the man looks like a lizard. I need to buy some things from you. Sure, what do you need, Alpha? I'm going to need uh, twice as much food as I usually do this time. Huh? That's not like you. I know, but I have a guest stayed over at my house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear, like, if it wasn't for, like, this area in particular, we'd probably not be allowed to live here. 
No, don't think of that. Heroes don't come here because it's mostly populated by mutation type gorgs here. I know, but still can't think. I'm still hoping they don't come here. You don't have to worry about it. The heroes have no reason to come here. Anyway, you gonna get me that food? Sure thing. We now go back to Deku. Ooh. What what if I uh reroute the power to this machine into this gauntlet? As he says that and, and starts working on it, Alpha comes in through the front door. Hey kid, you home? You here? Yeah, I'm just upstairs. Working on the on a machine. Well, come down. It's time to eat. Deku walks down and sees two plates, two bowls of ramen. Ooh, ramen. Yeah, it's nothing special. But at least it'll get through the day. They start eating. Said, so what are you up to? I was just trying to see how the machines work here worked. Yeah, I wouldn't start looking into them too much. They're all old. I know, but it's quite interesting how these machines work. They could use to help people like us. Yes, but if the heroes, fa if the people found out that these machines are working, they may just come here and do the same. So, just let them sit there for a while longer. After all, you don't need to be messing with them. After all, you're still like five. I know, but they're interesting, Alpha. I know they are. Some of these machines were probably used during a war or something. Some of them may even contain information from the past. But let's not worry about that. You get some rest. Tomorrow, uh, I've got some errands to run. So you're going to have to stay here again. Okay? All right, Alpha. Now get some rest. We go to the uh, next day. Deku gets up and starts working on something again. He starts working on a device. A type of robotic claw. Now, this claw can absorb energy and redirect energy. Now, if I resert the power into a container, it can absorb as much physical force as a, several punches, but I have to make sure it doesn't over overload. Is he here? As he's doing that, he hears a noise. He stops what he's doing and goes to look at the front door, where he hears people banging at it. Hey, mutation type! Hey, that wolf mutation type that lives here. Come on out. We know you're here. Deku hides as he hears people banging at the door for Alpha, who is not even home. They bust the lock to the door and walk in. Deku hides behind some of the old machinery. And he perfectly blends into the dark with his skin and black octoling tentacles. It looks like he's not here, boss. Eh. We'll come another day. We gotta teach these mutation type quirks their lesson after all.
After that, Alpha comes home and sees what had happened. He looks for Deku and finds him hiding behind one of the behind one of the machines. And he asks, "Hey, kid, what happened? Some people broke in, looking for you." I don't know what they wanted, but it sounded like they wanted to hurt you. That's fine. After all, they're only doing what they want to do. At least they didn't write out this location to anyone. Then, that would have been a problem. But what if they come back, Alpha? They won't. They know I move locations every time. I doubt they'll return here. Anyway, that is enough for the, for the day. Just don't worry about them. We skipped two years into the future. Hey, kid. I know you've been up there working on something. What have you been working on? Oh, I've been working on this little glove that can absorb power and reflect it. As he says this, his right eye goes a little bit more orange as he turns the glove on. Shh. Neat. So basically, the physical force that a punch were to hit somebody would direct its energy into the glove and would be brought back twice as strong when the glove punches somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works, Alpha. Hmm. Will you stay here? I've got to go get some more food. We're laying pretty low. We go to Alpha, who went to the grocery store. I would like to buy some meat. As he places his groceries and hands to the cashier, hmm. I can just charge this guy double of what the original cost is. He's a mutation type quirk after all. He charges Alpha double. Alpha pays for it. Huh, I don't care. As Alpha's leaving, he notices someone with green hair in the back of the store that was watching him. But he shrugs it off. We go to that person. It happens to be Inko. <clears throat> These filthy mutation quir type quirks, they can think they can go wherever they want. I'll show them. He follows Alpha to the old abandoned factory where he lives with Deku. So this is where you live, you filthy mutation. He s she smiles as she walks away. We skip to a day later where Inko is mean in an alley. Sorry, that is my cat in the background. I need you to do something. He's talking, she's talking to a man. He says, what do you need? I know you're a new hero and all, but I know how you can get some, some information or rise up the rankings fast. There's this mutation type werewolf. This cork is pretty strong. If you captured him or dealt with him, you could rise up the ranks pretty fast. I'll even pay you some. You have a deal, madam. You also want me to gather some... some people to watch as well? Yes, the more I marry her, I think. You're an evil woman. But I like what you're putting onto the table. And that's where we'll end part one. Thank you for watching. And make sure to like and subscribe. And again, sorry for the cat in the background.